Hi, Andrew here. It's about time that we do IMI's 77 grain OTM. This is their Mark 262 clone. Predictably, this should do pretty well. It's a 77 grain Sierra Match King at 556 pressure. Um, like I said, it's a clone of the Mark 262, and we know that the Mark 262 does very, very well. However, to give it a slight disadvantage, we're going to fire it out of a 10 and a half inch barrel. We're gonna see if that has any detrimental effect on performance. We're gonna shoot it into 10% calibrated ballistic gelatin. Let's get out to the range and take a look. Well, there you go. That's what this is supposed to do. Um, modest neck at about three inches. The disturbance left in the gel from the temporary stretch cavity is about seven inches long by uh, three inches wide. Total penetration, 19.5 inches pretty decent sized chunk of the core left right here and just behind it a piece of the jacket. Take a look at these pieces. Actually that ran into the table so there's a chance that could have gone deeper although it looks like it was really running out of steam by that time. Wow come here you. There's that piece of jacket. There's another chunk of jacket here. You can see bits of fragments around inside of this temporary stretch cavity. Let's get around to the other side and take a look from that angle. Okay, coming from the other direction, this is the entrance, temporary stretch cavity, and the bullet came out this side of the block. Um, I don't think anybody was surprised at the results that we saw here, although it's nice to put our eyes on it and to see some of that badass high-speed video thanks to aimed research. This performed exactly the way we want it to. Very short neck, monster temporary stretch cavity, lots of fragmentation. It just absolutely stirred those guts up. Of course, the 77 grain Match King tends to do that. And the 77 grain Match King tends to be an accurate bullet out of most rifles. So this has the potential, at least, to be a pretty accurate load for some people, depending on your barrel. Remember that everybody's barrel is a little different, and maybe this does well for you or not so much for me, but it at least starts with a good bullet. Now, yes, the penetration was a little deep. We've talked about that before. I've said that I don't think that over-penetration is nearly as important as a lot of people make it out to be. However, if that is a priority for you, then this is not the load for you to choose. If you have any questions or if you disagree with something I've said, then definitely leave a comment below. I love to hear what you guys think about these tests. If you want to find out how you can rent a phantom high-speed camera just like the one that I used for this video, get in touch with Aimed Research. I'll make sure that their contact information is in the description. Have a great day.